Joe from Borowski Race here with Eric from Trap House. Can you tell us a little about Trap House and we'll talk about your cars. Hey, how are you? How are you guys? Um, I'm the owner of Trap House Clothing. We have an urban clothing line um, based out of Los Angeles. So, um, you know, we look to um, give to kids and do different things with the brand that give away backpacks and different stuff like that. But most importantly, we like to put together like dope t shirts, hoodies, and the nice urban wear for the consumers. Mm -hmm. but, um, most importantly, we do. We also endorse the cars. And, um, I was fortunate enough to deal with you guys that come across this beautiful engine here. Um, this 4.5 Ripple um, LS427 here. And um, so far it's been a really good, um, really good Drop thing. Nice fit in the car. And um, yeah, so it's, Drop it works. Um, this car, um, what I like mostly is the, the roaster shop frame that it sits on. So this motor sitting on top of this frame, and the way how I said this car really rides down the highway. Yeah, well, Roads the Shop probably makes the best frames in the industry. Right. Well, I don't know. Well, I have an Art Morrison too, so I, I don't. Uh, I gotta yeah. figure out one, but they're neck to neck. I, I can say, you know. Yeah, but a custom yeah. custom frame on one of these is uh, is a really big big change. And the fact of the matter is, with this kind of engine, it puts out so much power. You, uh, if you go with the, the the stock frame, it may not last. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. So I'm happy with it so far. You know, as you can see, we got a little custom panels done under the hood. Custom panels, um, nice hood, nice paint. Um, all of the bumpers are flush mounted. Uh, we deleted a lot of the chrome too on this car. As you can see, coming up here. Um, a lot of the chrome was deleted. A lot of the chrome was deleted. Um, we also have the um, fiberglass, fiber, car carbon, carbon fiber. fiber. Yeah, yeah, we have the carbon fiber. Uh, we have carbon fiber rally stripes here on the hood. Let me close this hood down a little bit. So we have the carbon fiber race stripes. Also. Uh, yeah, well, some of the simple things, uh, like for example, I had a 71 El Camino. Right. And uh, what, the first time I had it out on the road, uh, on an interstate, it was pitch black and I couldn't see anything. Right. It looks like you fixed that problem. Oh yeah, these are the, the Halo LED lights. Um, they work pretty good, you know. Right. Oh, now the interior, this is like pretty spectacular. Why don't you tell us about this? Uh, these are Corvette seats, um, Z06. Mm -hmm. The 06 seats, the leather is, a, um, I believe it's Ferrari leather, so the high quality leather that's in here, um, the dash was um, a custom dash that was built in Florida, that was built in Florida. Now, one of the things that you can't get from the video is the smell of that leather. Right, right. Now I'm standing here smelling that leather and it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I love the way these seats are. First I wasn't too satisfied with the seats and then once I drove the car, these seats you they really hold me in there, you know? They mm -hmm. just it seemed like just right. Of course I probably can't gain a, another ten or yeah. Uh, what about uh, the gauges and uh, the dash that you have there? Um, those are Dakota dashes. Yeah, they, yeah those are Dakota dashes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, what do you have going on with the screen on the console? Oh, that's an Alpine screen that was... Um, yeah, Rafi did the, um, did the Alpine. Very good. First place, 102. Very good custom uh, radio. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we'll, are, we'll get to the speakers in the back. Uh, oh, soon, yeah. But, uh, these are AMG 63 Mercedes um, vents mm -hmm. that I had added. Uh, I don't believe they light up yet, but they're supposed to light up. Okay. They're supposed to light up when I open the door. And uh, you see the, all of this LED here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. It's all pretty bright. I don't know if the people see it on the video, but uh, I'm sure at night it's pretty sharp. Right, yeah, it's pretty sharp at night. So, okay. Yeah. Then your shifter over there, I know what kind of transmission you've got. Yeah. Uh, I'm not familiar with the shifter. I, I have to be honest with you. Um, I know I have one of these in my Camaro as well. And um, I never just got 
not mm -hmm. the brand or anything like that, whatever, but I'll definitely find out about it. Yeah. Everyone give me well, a the, lot the of... transmission is a used 4L80, yeah, and it's rated to 1,500 horsepower to handle the torque of the of the Whipple supercharged engine. Right. But, uh, yes, yeah, so that, uh, that looks awesome. Let's... Right. And then, as we can go back to you, see all this was deleted. Yeah, all the chrome. All of the chrome was deleted here. Then do you see these mirrors that's used on 71. All of this was flush mounted. Mm -hmm. So all this was flush mounted. The bumpers were chunked. Uh, and you see the custom trunk that was done. Rafi did the trunk as well. All of these are Alpine, Alpine amps. I believe those are 12 inch, uh, three 12 inch um, woofers. Yeah, those are three 12-inch woofers. And Did we hit the wheels and... Uh... The wheels we have are... Uh, these are Billet Specialties. These were custom-made by Billet right here. These are 22. I believe it's like a 7-inch lip on these rim, on, the, on the wheels. Um, I don't know what the actual tire size, but I can figure that out. Uh, we're on the bare brakes, too. We have a bare brake system. We got Tesla door handles. Well, it sounds like they're calling winners, so we probably ought to let you go. Okay, all right, thanks a lot. Yeah, that's what I was trying to see if I had on the list. 538-291-501. Second place, 450. First place, 451. Way to go, Eric! Congratulations, bro. I like this. Hey! Are you going to be able to get back home? You got a little hole in it.